What looks like a Sony WF-1000 XM3 is priced like one, at MSRP anyway, and is also a few years late to the party. Well, this status audio is between 3 A and C, and I've long admired the Between series, but I've never been able to fully review one before. So when the opportunity came to test out the 3 A and C, my expectations were yay high. I mean, El Jefe and Gameski, or is it Gamesky, or is it Gamaski? They loved it, so it must be awesome, right? Well, not so fast, muchacho. I beg to defer, and I'll tell you why I have to wag my finger at these after these messages from my sponsors. Actually, I don't have any sponsors, so let's do this anyway. <laughs> the Between 3 A and C can be had for $230 in two different colorways. There's black as well as this one. This is called Onyx, which when combined with the brushed aluminum bottom piece, it looks striking, don't it? while also looking like a giant thumb drive on your ears. That was my wife's first response when I first showed it to her. And yes, looking at it side on, the ear pieces are honkers, but I'll tell you what, it's really well made. The fit lines are tight, the plastics are nice to the touch, um, and it resists scratch also pretty well for the most part. The entire unit just feels and smells like a couple hundred bucks. And many of you know that I detest piano black plastics and mercifully there's only a small smattering here at the top of the 3NC. I think in the black version it's gonna stand out more. But here it'll be easy to clean and stay clean all around. The lid itself locks well when open and the magnet holds it nice and closed and tight as well. And check this out, when I do the shake test, the earbuds stay put so thumbs up right there. On board, there's Bluetooth 5.2 with AAC and SBC support. In the business end of things, there's not one, not two, but three drivers per side, guys, consisting of one 10mm driver and two balance armatures. Um, there's IPX5 water resistance, so sweaty workouts, a little rain or rinsing this under a tap is fine. During my time with it, in terms of battery life, I was able to eke out about 7.2 hours with ANC on at 65% volume. And out back on the case here, you have USB-C charging as well as wireless charging down below. And that's it for specs. If you've been paying attention so far, you probably haven't heard me say anything about wear detection or any kind of aptX or high-res support because, well, the 3NC has neither of those. And let's do this. Oh yes, this is an oval ear tip and it's not the quickest. Unfortunately, one hour later, I give up. This is this is impossible. My fingers are starting to hurt. Yeah, uh, I'll give this a try later on. But you know, this is the longest ear tip test I've ever done, and still not on yet. I love this song. It's Jesse uh, doing Zoom, and I have the Between Threes outdoors doing the Bluetooth range test. Did I say Between Three? The Between Three A and C to be specific. Uh, so I have the song playing on my OnePlus 11, piping it through the earbuds. And I'm going to take, if I'm winded, here, uh, let me show you how many earbuds I've tested so far. Right there. And not just one take, multiple takes. And you know how I do this, I run around the backyard, as you'll tell in a second. So, uh, talk about an early morning run here. So I have uh, the phone right there and where I'm standing is around 25 feet. So these guys... Oh, we just got a signal loss, like left, right, wind dead for a second, now it's completely dead. So around 30 feet. Let me keep going to see uh, if we get a disconnect tone. How are you guys doing? Thank you for joining me today. Oh, disconnected. It's a, guy, it's a guy's voice, I wish you can change it. And he sounds really sultry. Like this guy, the actor that they paid, or whoever, an employee or whatever, he, he's putting his effort into it when he says power on or connected uh, he's like disconnected oh man it gives me the chills every see it just did it connected anyways let's take these on a run how are you guys doing thank you for joining me today um these as you can tell from the front view they are not like the ads that show this view like hey look how nice it is unique profile but then from the front check this out they are very, <laughs> they're really far out. Again, it got disconnected. So I had the same issue with the uh, smoking buds, the $20 smoking buds from Skull Candy. They started disconnecting down there. Of all the ones I've tested so far, this is the last one actually. Um, these two disconnected like much closer to the phone. Something is weird going on. Maybe it's something I'm wearing. Oh well, let's keep running and trying. I just want to show you guys the fit of these and point out any kind of technical things like these. So, not the most secure 
the comfortable static like you're sitting around you know chilling around the house but when you're running oh no 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 they start wobbling because you know of how far out they sit you can't beat physics no matter what kind of wings or ear tips you ins you design these are not going to stay put so let's take these to the front to the main road to test uh, how the mic sound during phone calls i can tell you for a fact that the three ancs in the quiet environment they sound fantastic really nice intonation oh by the way there's wind right here it's blowing directly at me how is the wind reduction of these here comes some traffic testing testing one two three testing testing one two three so yeah um when noise cancellation kicks in it has this weird effect where it just seems to sound gravelly here comes some traffic uh, i tested these earlier with some 18 wheelers i wish there were some big rigs or something coming through some big trucks and it was really like prominent like the gravelly sound it was quite bad even though you can still hear me talking um i don't think your listeners will appreciate it how's the wind again it's really bustling right now coming from this direction you can probably see the leaves back there right so yeah i can hear it coming through the mics a little bit but not too bad at all these things are like sails they're so big they catch the wind uh like crazy oh yes one thing i forgot to talk about is these when you're in active noise cancellation mode do enter into pass-through mode when you get a phone call it's really hard to tell only because as i'll mention later active noise cancellation is meh it's okay so uh, but it is there it's good because if you have if you're totally isolated from sounds you get a phone call it'd be nice to have some kind of situational awareness that's one of my favorite features for earbuds so going into pass-through mode uh, from active noise cancellation is a good thing Hands down, my favorite bit is the sound quality. Other aspects, not so much, and I'll talk more about those in a second, but status pretty much nailed the SQ here, guys. It's tuned to a narrow V, consumer-friendly setup, which means warm, extended bass, followed by a slightly less emphasized, but still detailed mids. The highs have plenty of detail and composure as well. Overall, it kind of reminds me of the status flagship headphones that I checked out a while back. Although, gratefully, without the muffled bass that that thing had. Here, the listening experience is very enjoyable and kudos to the status team with getting the triple drivers to play nicely with each other. Jazz, pop, classical fans are all going to love these, although I think there's enough low-end thwack to please bass lovers as well. Justin Timberlake's suit and tie, with its cresting and layered instruments going on in the background, is great for testing sound staging and how each component plays with each other without clashing. The 3 ANC resolves this song fantastically. It's really a joy, maybe could pull back a little bit on the top end, but ultimately it's quite satisfying. I would rank noise cancellation, both passive and active, a solid B+. It knocks out lower frequencies particularly well, guys. I stood in front of my AC and also by the main road as large trucks came through and the algorithm like not just hushed the bassier sounds but even took the edge off some of the highs as well. Now pass-through mode on the other hand, it's okay but most earbuds don't get it right anyway. This thing straddles somewhere between sounding natural and just way over boosted. After you watch this, head on over to Status Audio's website, the product page for this thing and once you see it, you can unsee it, is that curiously, all the images that they use there show only the side view. It's a little sneaky if you ask me trying to hide the fact that the earbuds stick out so far from your head, it might scare away the customers. And as we saw earlier in the Fit demo, I almost look like an at at walker with cheek cannons on or something. And you might say, Aaron, what's wrong with how they protrude if they fit right? Well, not unless you ignore physics, because in this case, the main unit where a lot of the weight is sits about one centimeter away from the ear tip, and you can see where this is going. I haven't been able to use these for more than 20 minutes at a time, and I'm going to say that again in case you missed it, 20 bloody minutes before feeling a great deal of pressure in the upper ear canal. So stable, yes, I'll give it that, but long-term comfort, mm-mm. Actually, even short-term comfort, you can't even last 20 minutes. So be sure to check for that if you give these a try. This next one is a long one, so hang on to your breeches. 
The app is functional, but it feels spartan and clunky. Now, one can't fault it for being uncluttered because I like them neat and tidy, but whatever happened to basic $200 range functions like auto power off, customizable controls, voice feedback settings, because the voice on these things, it talks way too much. And yes, there's also three presets and manual EQ and everything, but I found three annoying things just within the EQ page alone. A, the 8-band EQ is awesome, but unlike others, there's no way to quickly reset to default. B, there are three presets with absolutely no explanation what they are and what their audio profiles are. And C, I noticed that if you're using any of these EQ presets, then you decide to fiddle with the default EQ. It doesn't give you live feedback of your adjustments, which, you know, other brands do. What's more annoying, you still won't get to hear your adjustments even after you click apply and save. What the app wants you to do is go back a screen, make sure default EQ is selected, then, and finally then, you're in business. Probably the lengthiest and unnecessary app connection behavior I've seen also belongs to the status audio app. When the earphone says it's connected to your device, you expect that when you launch the app, it will automatically take you to your device settings. It might take a few seconds, but it happens automatically. Well, not here. First, you have to tap your device in select your device, then tap connect, and then you'll finally get to the settings. Why is this a three-tap process every single time rather than just one? What the heck, man? Just from looking at this, you can tell that Status Audio put a lot of heart and a lot of resources into making the 3 ANC a fantastic earbud in and of itself and also battering their own Between Pro. So A for effort. Audio is spot on from you know a mass consumption perspective anyway, and so is workmanship and battery life. ANC was also surprisingly effective. For me, however, discomfort was a major no-go. And then with all the little niggles with the app, the frequency in which also the left earbud doesn't connect whenever removed from the case, and fiddly controls that eventually added up to quite a frustrating and painful experience. It still scored pretty well though, brought up by the SQ, the ANC, and the fantastic build quality. So I gave it a final gear up score of 7.7 .7 out of 10. And this is how I broke it down to get to the final score. If you have any questions about that, feel free to comment down below and I'll probably ignore it. If you haven't already, click subscribe right now because you know it, it's the right thing to do. Thumbs up if you like this video, comment nicely down below, say hi, we might say hi back. And also remember to do something loving and kind for somebody in this world because guess what? If you haven't seen the news, the world needs it more than ever and it starts with you. Peace out, stay cool, and stay safe. Until the next time.